I'm going to compare these three Flower by Kenzo fragrances. Flower by Kenzo is an iconic fragrance and I've read about it on this book, Perfume Legends by Michael Edwards. So it's this fragrance here. The brand Kenzo was founded in Paris by Kenzo Takada, a Japanese fashion designer. A lot of his fashion were included the poppy flower. So later on the brand was looking to come up with a fragrance that would truly capture the concept of the brand. And in the year 2000 they launched the flower by Kenzo perfume. So this contains the original Flower by Kenzo and then there's the Flower by Kenzo Lapsolu and then there's another original Flower by Kenzo and there's the Flower by Kenzo Poppy Bouquet. So they came up with the image of a poppy which is interesting because the poppy itself does not have that much scent to it. So they had to sort of create this imaginary scent that would represent the poppy. So this original flower by Kenzo or the parfum was created by Alberto Morillas of Ferminiche. So it comes in this iconic bottle which is very unique and goes real well with the perfume. And this is the miniature version. So this is just 4ml. I'm going to try the original first and then I would like to compare it to the other two. So I get that nice white musk powdery scent and also a bit of green to it. So the initial um, perception that you get is sort of like a sensual type of scent. In the background, I can also get that nice mild scent of vanilla and incense. They give it a bit of warmth and add more sensuality together with the white musk and the powder. It also has a mild scent of rose to it. I feel it's not the most prominent out of all the scents so far. It's a really nice fragrance. They really wanted to capture the poppy in the fragrance and the bottle, showing the strength of the poppy. The flower is nice, red, vibrant, and the poppy is also quite fragile. The bottle and the fragrance, they go really well together. And I feel they're quite modern, elegant, sensual. It's a really nice perfume. So now I'm going to try Flower by Kenzo Lapsolu, which was created later on. And apparently it contains Damask Rose Absolu. It already has a nice scent to it. So I think initially it's the saffron orange blossom scent that's quite prominent. So it's a nice spicy floral orangey scent. There's also a hint of vanilla and sweetness to it, quite mild. Now I can also get that nice scent of rose. To me this feels a bit more sweet and floral. Also somewhat spicy and with a hint of white musk to it. So it's also a nice fragrance. Now I'm going to try out the Flower by Kenzo Poppy Bouquet. This is the Eau de Parfum Floral. So this looks pink. The floral component seems to be a bit more prominent. So one of its notes apparently is the Nashi pear and I can get that scent of pear in it. So it has a gentle sweetness in combination with the rose and floral scent. So one of its notes is almond wood and I can actually get a hint of almond in it as well. It also has a mild woody scent to it. So it's a nice combination of the florals, the rose, there's also gardenia in it, the gentle sweetness from the pear and then the gentle almond woody scent to it as well. So it's a nice combination, it's also a nice perfume. So they're all really nice flower by Kenzo perfumes. You would choose depending on your preference, your mood. If I had to choose my personal favorite one, it would be the original 
flower by Kanzo or the parfum. It has something really unique to it, modern, sophisticated. Something about it that I really like. 